Hello Agent, I'm here with Scorpio to help you set up your technology so that you can get started on your next quest. Are you ready? Before starting, make sure you have your username and password from your learning operative. If you haven't received it yet, contact them immediately so that you can get started. When you're ready, go to the designated site and then put in your username and password and then hit the login button. Next, hit create a site and give your site a title and hit continue. Next, customize your site by hitting design on the top and change theme on the left hand side. You can scroll through the various designs and choose one that you like. Choose preview to see what a theme will look like applied to your page. If you like it, hit choose on the top. Your next step is to add some pages. Title your home page Profil. This is where you're going to put all of your agent information. Now you're going to add three more pages. Click the add button up top. The first one's going to be a blog page. You're going to call this Mon Journal d'Espionage, my spy journal. You will need to choose a header type. I'm going to choose a short header. Then I'm going to add another page by clicking on the Add button up top. This is also a blog page and it's going to be called Communication avec HQ, Communication with Headquarters. I will also choose a short header for this page as well. Now you're going to add a final page. Make it a standard page and call this page Dictionnaire. This is going to be your dictionary and choose a short header for this page again and then click save and edit. Now you're ready to start adding content to your web page and to publish. So I'm going to start by adding a header. So just click to add a headline. I'm going to put mes, uh, mes aventures à Paris. You can put what you want. So now you can start adding content to your blog. There's an icon in the top left hand side here. If I click on it, I'll see the pages that I just added. I'm going to go to Mon Journal d'Espionage. Remember that's a blog page. So I might want to change the headers on my various pages. I just do that by simply clicking on this button here that says edit image. A variety of images will pop up. I can choose various themes. So if I want an active theme or a city theme, I might see a city theme that I want. I'm not sure here. There's one with Paris. So maybe I want to put one uh, Paris picture because I'm going to Paris. And then I'm just going to hit select here. And that's going to change my image there. Now if I scroll down, I'm going to want to add some content. So it says I don't have any blog post. First thing I need to do before I can do anything else is save the image. So I'm going to save it and I get to choose whether I want to save that image to all my pages or only this page. I only want to save that image to this page. So I'm going to click on that. My image is there. Now you see I don't have any blog posts so I'm going to click on new post. So you'll be told in various quests what your assignments are and whether you need to post something here. So I don't need a title for this one. I can just add the title in. So for example, if I was doing something, Ma Famille à Paris. So that's something that I could do. And then here on the left, there are a variety of things that I can choose from. So for example, if I'd like to add some text, I can, all I need to do is drag and drop that icon here. And that's going to allow me to add some text here. So now I could type in whatever I wanted and I'm just typing in some gibberish just so that you can see what's there. If I wanted to put an image in, I could put an image in. If I have something from somewhere else and I need to embed code, you're going to have to do that at some point. So there's a variety of things here. There's an audio button if I want to upload an audio file. There's a uh, high definition video if I want to do video or I might want to post something that I've created on YouTube and I might want to post it here. So there's a variety of different things I can do. So here again, all I do is 
grab the icon that I want. So I want to add an image. So I'm going to grab an image there. I'm going to click on it here. And now I have a choice to upload an image. So here again, I have a choice to upload an image directly from my computer, or I can search for an image. So let's say Paris. I'm going to put Paris in. I'm going to search for images. And a variety of images will come up. These are free images that have come up, so I'm going to choose a free image. So often with various posts, to make them more interesting, I might want to include an image. You might have to be more specific. Maybe if I'm doing a post on the various sites that I've visited, I could add this image. And so all I'd have to do is select. That image would show up now. And now what I can do is I can either, if I'm finished with this post, I can post it directly or I can save this post. So let's say I'm not finished and I'm just going to save it. So that's how Weebly works. When I'm done, to be able to give the URL to my teacher, I'm going to have to publish my post. So when you publish it, the first thing it's going to ask you, and this is, it's only going to ask you this the first time, is to create an address. You have to choose your website domain. So I'm going to say my website is going to be Paris Drones and it's available. So you see there's a check mark there. You can choose whatever you want. You might choose your grade and your French class. You might choose your school. You can choose whatever you want here. As long as it's available, please make sure it's appropriate. And when you are done, you can click continue. And the first time it's going to ask you what sort of a website it is just choose education and I don't know what category it is class project and then click the button don't ask me again and you can continue on now they're publishing your website and here's the website I'm going to open that up in a new tab this is the published website here so what I was on initially was was simply to create my website so anything I want to add but when I send other people to my website, I'm going to send them to my published website. So I can't edit for my published website, but it is, it's the URL that I'm going to give my teacher. And if I want anyone else to see my website, I'll put it there. So as you see, there are my various pages. If I go to Journal d'Espionage. Anyways, there you go. This is how you use Weebly. Have fun and um, bon chance tout le monde.